Hello, welcome to another video on uh, by me, Wisdom Hunter. This is for solo D&D RPG on Roll20. And so this is when you have no one else to play with, so you have to do a solo game, but you want to play D&D, and you can do it on Roll20, and I'll show you some tricks and things that I do to make that happen. Okay, so now this is just going to be a, a video on the token circles that you can use in Roll20. So when you have a token on Roll20, there's these three circles that appear above it. And you can put information into those three circles, information that's useful. Now, what I like to do is put numbers in there that are, that are constantly changing. Some people put in like an AC, but an AC doesn't change. So they just put that AC in, in one of the circles and that's their AC. But these numbers, you can change them by doing like a plus two or a minus five and those that will instantly change the numbers. So what I like to do is put numbers in each of those that change and it's easy to track those numbers right there in those token circles. So I'm going to show you what numbers I put into those token circles. So here you see it. In the green circle, I'll put inspiration, which to me are the luck points. I did another video on luck points where there's a maximum of seven luck points. So I'll put in inspiration and I showed in that other video how I change inspiration to seven luck points by using the shaped sheet in roll 20. And then Come down here to the red circle and I'll put in hit points. That's easy to understand. I like to put the hit points in red because it's blood, it's wounds, it's blood spurting, it's it's hit points, you know what I mean? And then in the blue circle for when it's a martial class, like barbarians or fighters, rangers, I'll put in some sort of martial feature in the blue. Rage. Whatever needs to be counted between short rests or long rests. Or even for a fighter, there's certain things you want to count between short rests or long rests. So put those martial features in the blue. So every time I use one of them, I subtract one. So I can see how many I have left before I have to finish another rest. And now for a spellcaster, I'll still do red for hit points, green for the inspiration luck points, but the blue circle will be spell points because I use spell points for all of spell casting. It just makes it so much easier to track you know, how I'm using spells. If I want to just grab a second level spell, I'll just do a minus two to the spell points. So it makes it very easy on the token. So I can always see instantly on the tokens how many spell points I have left for how many spells I have left. And so it's really important in these token circles to put information that you're tracking so you can see how much you have left. And so let me show you how I do this in Roll20. Okay, here we are in Roll20. And you can see I have my token selected. And above this token, you're going to see those three circles. So this is going to be hit points. Let's say my PC takes a hit of seven. So I'll do minus seven and now has 19 hit points. And here in, in the green circle, I'm tracking luck points. There's a maximum of seven. Let's say the PC wants to use four of those luck points on a roll. So minus four, now there's three left. And over here, let's say that there's a, a certain number of rages that my character, my PC can do. And so uses up one of the rages, minus one. And for these token circles, you can instantly track your hit points, you can track your luck points, and you can track how many martial features you're using. Now let's just go ahead and say that um, this PC is a spellcaster. And we're going to put in nine spell points in the blue circle. So now it's the same thing. I still have a spellcaster, but in the red circle is going to be hit points. In the green circle, how many luck points? Let's say in the morning they grab two more luck points. Now they have five luck points. And each one of those luck points can add a plus one onto any roll against a DC or an AC. And then over here in the blue circle, we have spell points. So let's say our spellcaster casts a third level spell. I'll go minus three, and now there's six spell points left to continue on casting spells. And so here's what it's going to look like inside the token settings so we can actually change them. I'm going to put inspiration up there, martial feature in the blue, and hit points on the red. Okay, that's how I do it. This is Wisdom Hunter. And remember, whoever enjoys the game the most wins.